Hey guys, welcome back. Sarah. I'm so glad that you're here. If you've never seen my videos before, I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also have a bunch of plus size fashion, beauty, home decor, lifestyle, cook with me, clean with me, decorate with me, all that type of stuff here on my channel. I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow my other social media platforms. I have an Instagram, at Sarah England, and I also have a TikTok. I will have all of the links and names and everything down below for you. And without further ado, welcome to my what I got my kids for their stockings or what's my kids Christmas stocking stocking stuff for gift kind I'm so glad that you're here if you've never seen my videos before I have two daughters my oldest is Olive and she just turned seven and my youngest is Eleanor and she will be five in the beginning of March I have already posted my what I got my kids for Christmas video if you haven't already seen it I highly suggest you go and watch it um, I have a ton of really good gift I get oh my goodness I cannot speak today I have a ton of really good gift ideas in that video and I would love it if you went and took a little peek at it. You guys always love that video. It's my most requested one and my most popular here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for showing up in that video and leaving me comments and hitting that like button and following along with me. I'm so thankful for all of you. And for those of you who also then went and followed my other social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok, I am so, so thankful for you. Thank you for the support. It truly means the world. I really am so thankful that i get to do this and i it brings me so much joy and i'm so glad i get to share with you so in this video i will share what i got my daughters for their stockings and i also have a couple of ideas for uh, my nephew but for boys of course my daughter stuff is more on the girly side but it's you can do whatever you want you pick for whatever you are picking for. I hope I give you ideas for everyone and that's included in the family, but I also have um, some other stuff for um, my nephew that I do want to share with you because I think there's some good ideas with that. I also normally do what I got my husband um, in his stocking and I normally smush this one all together and just share both with you, but it ends up being so long um, and I just thought it'd be easier to separate them into two separate videos. So that one will be coming next and I'm really excited to share with you what I got in that video video. There's a lot of really fun ideas for him this year and I'm excited for him to see it and open his stocking. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, it is super overcast and foggy outside. It literally looks like it's 6 p.m. and it's noon right now. So the lighting, I have my, my ring light like on full blast and it's creating lots of harsh shadows. I wish it was warmer and cozier and more inviting for you, but I hope that you enjoy this nonetheless. I'm sorry for the washed out lighting, but it's the best that I could do, and I wanted to get this video filmed for you guys so you can start shopping for Christmas stockings if you haven't already. Okay, that is it. Now we're gonna start. I'm gonna start with my youngest. Like I said, her name is Eleanor. She's about to be five in March. And we're going to start with candies. So I don't normally go crazy for the candy. Um, I get them each a couple of things, but I don't normally like buy a whole bunch of stuff. We still have so much stuff from Halloween, so much candy, even treats from Halloween. So I just buy a couple of things, a couple of treats, but I don't normally go crazy. The first thing I did get are some Santas. I always love the cute little Santas. These are the Palmer's chocolate. They're not like the best, most high quality chocolate, <laughs> but my girls aren't gonna matter. I will put one in my husband's stocking, but I doubt he'll end up eating it. It probably will be ended up eating by my girls. Um, but they're just cute little Santas and they look like my dad and I just, anything that looks like my dad now I just buy because he passed away and I just like, it just brings me joy and it looks like my daddy. So anyway, I got them each one of those. I also, what is Christmas without one of these bad boys? I always, always buy a candy filled candy cane. This one is Twix. Um, Eleanor loves any and all chocolate. Literally everything she has is pretty much chocolate. Um, I also got a bag of Lindt Lindor truffles. Now this is less Eleanor and more Olive. Eleanor will like these again because it's chocolate and it's candy, but Ollie loves these and they are really expensive. Um, but they had these at Walmart in the like stocking stuff for candy section. There's two of them in here and they were a dollar. So each girl got one. Eleanor will be like, cool candy. Ollie will be way more excited because she appreciates the fanciness of them. So, um, she also has one too. 
and then um, I got them a nerds rope. They love these things. This always looks like it's the wrapper is like so like thin, so it always looks like it's been on the floor of a movie theater for six years. But they're, they'll be excited. And then this one's a new one for us this year. This was in the regular like marshmallow baking section at Walmart. Um, these are the Yum Mallows. This is a jumbo rainbow swirl marshmallow. The girls love marshmallows, and I just thought this was like a different treat for them to have rather than the same old same old stuff. Um, and it's just like a rainbow like swirly marshmallow. So it's really soft. It was like a buck. It's a giant like treat. I thought it was nice, and it's like it's a perfect size to me for a stocking. Um, these would also be great for Easter baskets since it's like more pastel colored, but. Anyway, I think that they're really going to like those, and, you know, marshmallows are always so fun. So, okay, enough of the candy. Now, um, the other things that the girls always get are toothbrushes. This is Eleanor's this year. It's just a Colgate, like, regular vibrating toothbrush. Um, it has a unicorn on it. It's cute. It's a toothbrush. After the candy, got to brush the teeth, you know? Okay, <laughs> now we get into more of the fun things. So, um, both girls this year got... I think a slime. Um, if you watched my boo basket, like the Halloween baskets that I gave the girls, they each got one of these Elmer's glues or goos, strawberry uh, slime. No, this one's donut scented. No, strawberry donut scented. Slimes. Um, I got these in a pack of two on Amazon for like next to nothing. Um, but you can find these in the stores. These are, I mean, Slime is slime. Again, the girls really liked playing with their Halloween slime. It was slime. They managed not to get it on anything though, so I think they're growing into it a bit better. This has a bunch of like little fake uh, plastic candy sprinkles that you put in here. I think they're gonna be excited. It's slime. It's a good size if you really wanna like fill out a stocking. This is a good option. And I feel like this is like the better slime of all the slimes you can buy in the store um, because it's Elmer's and it's, I don't know, it's a nice quality one. I don't know. It's slime. So they got that. Um, in the stocking stuffer section at Walmart, they had these on an end cap. This is the Jojo Siwa Poppet. I mean, what? I mean, every kid loves Poppets. I got Eleanor a, her first Poppet last Christmas before they like blew up, and they were like really hard to get because they weren't really a thing yet, and now they're everywhere. And she loved it. She has such a fun time with her Poppet. It's really relaxing for her. She will spend like 20 minutes in the quiet just. So I got her this one because she likes to collect things and I'm sure she'll be happy with this one. It's a little unicorn one. It has a keychain so she can put it on her backpack and bring it to school if she wants to show her friends. Um, I don't know what she'll want to do with it, but I figured this is like a perfect Eleanor one. And then I shared this actually in my um, what I got my kids for Christmas video, but I'm going to put it in her stocking. It's a little Woodsies um, surprise baby hidden crib inside hidden inside crib. It's just like a little baby, little fuzzy figure. She is getting the Honeybee Acres house and sets um, for Christmas from Walmart. And so I thought this would just be like a perfect little add on to that set. So it's a little baby and it comes in a crib and she can put it in the house. All right. Um, every single year we go to a craft show, my mom and I do. And um, they, we buy a new necklace from this uh, line. It's a small shop every single year, um, besides last year because of COVID. So we were really excited to go in. It's become a tradition and it's from a brand called Make Me Pretty, just like mommy. No, it's just called Make Me Pretty. Um, it's on facebook.com slash make me pretty jewelry and they make these really pretty fun necklaces. They have all sorts of different stuff, bracelets. I also think they have keychains, but we got this one for Eleanor. It is a unicorn that's rainbow and fun. The beads are super big, but the thing that I really enjoy about them is that the clasps are magnetic and it's a really nice and strong magnet. It stays on all day. She's even worn them to school before and it hasn't come off, but she's able to take it on and off. So that way she doesn't need me to come help her take it on or off and it just kind of makes her feel more independent um, and the clasp doesn't get all caught up in her hair so these um, at least at the craft fair they were $17 which I think is around the same price you pay every single year but it's just like a fun like bright necklace I feel like this really spans a bunch of different ages these are fun for toddlers when they start feeling like into jewelry into like younger little girls so this is Eleanor's this year 
on the jewelry train i also picked up this set of necklaces from wonder nation for 588 can you see any of those i don't know the lighting is probably washing there we go so it's just like a regular fun 90s style choker um and then i love this one with the little heart and smiley and flower bead and then this one is a little daisy and then the little heart you could easily cut these up and cut them in half and give one to one kid or you can each give like one to, if you have multiple stockings i feel like these are perfect to just break apart and give to multiple kids and they're super inexpensive at 588 so i love the wonder nation jewelry line at walmart i think it's great um and then alongside that from Walmart as well, I picked up a pack of hair accessories. These are from a Justice line at Walmart. These are three twisters. These I think were on sale for like three bucks or something. They were normally like eight or nine or something. And I feel like I got them on sale for like 388 or something around there. They were definitely much cheaper. Um, Eleanor loves anything fuzzy. So I thought this one would be fine. They all end up sharing them anyway. So it really doesn't matter. And then it comes with two pink velvet ones as well. So just a nice pack of hair scrunchies. And then we get into the makeup. So my girls love to play with makeup. They love to express themselves and it's so fun to see them. They've gotten so much better. Like it's crazy how quickly they have like learned how to do their makeup. So um, I got them each a pack of these hard candy eyeshadows. I got two for Eleanor because Ollie, if you watched my what I got my kids for Christmas video, she had a full new eyeshadow palette in that one. So I decided just to get two for Eleanor so she had a bit more um, on the eyeshadow train. These are just really pretty. They had little snowflakes on them. They were only a dollar in the Walmart stocking stuffer area. So I thought these were perfect for them to like have fun with and explore. They're pretty colors. Some have glitter, some have like just shimmer. So I got the, this one was the uh, Desert Fever and Indigoing Steady palettes. So again, like these were only a dollar and they're gonna love them. In that, no, in the regular, makeup area in the wet and wild i got these glitter eyeshadows this is in the color spiked which is just like a silver uh glitter and then groupy <laughs> doesn't really matter the name so not going to be reading them but these are <laughs> these were only a dollar as well so they will have more glitter eyeshadows and then i each got them i think i got elder two lipsticks but i got this one from dollar treats the la colors matte lips in I don't know what color this one. Oh, hashtag goals. It's just like a mauvey ruby red kind of color. And then I also picked her up one in a super similar shade. I know I got that. I may have to switch between the two. I got her this one from Wet n Wild, which is raining rubies. Um, these look like the like they're trying to be like Pat McGrath lipsticks. Um, so these are just fun. Again, really inexpensive and just a way to like add to their collection. And then to go along that train. Um, I picked up these for Eleanor at Claire's. The girls are obsessed with Claire's now. It's like the time that they have like discovered the amazingness that is Claire's. So Claire's was having a great Black Friday sale. So I got them her three packs of earrings. I got these like fun um, metallic ombre style butterfly earrings. I got her these smiley face metallic yellow earrings and then the back is like black. And then I got her a pack of these, comes with three different pairs and they're gummy bears. <laughs> they're gummy bears um, and they glow in the dark. So those are really fun. Um, these were super inexpensive, like I said, they were having a really good sale. And then I also got her a pack of bracelets from Claire's. These have like a, a unicorn on them, a little sun, and a rainbow. This is the Claire's Club line. So those are all from Claire's. And then I also picked up for her um, from the Thai website. She loves Beanie Boos. She collects them, her collection's growing. You've seen these in probably most of my gift guides because she's obsessed with them. So I got this little guy. I think he is absolutely adorable. He's so gosh darn cute. His name is Cheer. So he's a Christmas one. I don't think she has a Christmas one yet. Um, and so I decided to get them this year. I absolutely recommend shopping on the Thai website. They're the cheapest. They, um, from all around, from the actual retailer, they're way cheaper than I find them at Claire's, Hobby Lobby, 
Amazon, wherever else you can find them. They're so much cheaper. I think they're only like $4.99. They, all, they're always free shipping and they come incredibly fast and they never, like I never have to pay taxes. I don't really know how that happens every single time, but somehow I don't pay taxes unless they like secretly put that in the fee, but I feel like that's illegal. I don't know. They're great. Shop the Thai website. So um, I got him. He's super cute, super fuzzy. So that is hers this year. And then um, I picked up a pack and I accidentally wrapped them. I meant to show them for you, but I showed these ones in my um, what I got my kids for Christmas video because she had been asking for mini brands like crazy. Um, and I, some gifts had come for Ollie when I was wrapping and realizing I was like, oh, it's kind of uneven. So I decided to get, get another pack. These are, I wish I could show them to you, but I don't want to unwrap it in waste paper. Um, but these are, you can hear them in there. These are the, um, gold rush ones. So I think these were like the limited edition ones or something. It's a pack of three. I got them on Target or Walmart for like $11.99. So they were on a really good sale for all three of them. So she has Gold Rush ones, and then I think this is season one. I honestly have no idea. They're the white ones. I believe this is season one, and then this is the new season. I don't really know, but she has multiple different type options now. So she's the Gold Rush ones going underneath the tree, and then I just decided that I would put these in her stocking, so, or at least buy her stocking. Um, so she'll have the mini brand's regular one with her stocking and then did i share everything with hers the last thing i have for eleanor is this bad boy so uh eleanor is obsessed with blankies um her prized possessions in life are her shopkins collection and her blankies her blankies are probably her number one favorite thing she has two that um my dad and my brother got for her their toy story she uses them and is there with her 24 7. she hates leaving them when she goes to school but instantly when she comes home she has her blankie um she's been a blankie kid since she was born so i decided to kind of get a newer one we'll still keep the other ones but they're getting kind of they're getting loved so i decided to get her a new one this is from walmart this is from the your zone line with um they have a bunch of different colors. They have hearts, they have, I think, like astronaut ones, sharks maybe, dinosaurs, they have unicorns. I actually may get one for Olive as well. Um, but this one glows in the dark, which I think is super cool. So the hearts around here, this like lining, ends up glowing in the dark. I just need to charge it with the sun. Um, but I think this, this is so fun and so cool and something she's really, really gonna like. So um, it's super soft like her regular blankies. She's very particular um, and I think she's gonna be really excited. So this is going under the tree. I mean, it's a blanket, like who would be excited for a blanket? But like, this is, this is gonna be a winner, I think. Fingers crossed because she loves blankets and those are really, really cheap. Um, okay. I think that's all for Eleanor. So let's move on to Olive. So um, for Olive's candy, she has the marshmallow. She has the pack of truffles, which I said she's going to be the most excited about. She has a nerd rope. And then um, she also has a candy cane, but I got her Sour Patch Kids because she loves sour candy. So um, she has a pack of individual Sour Patch Kids. And then her toothbrush is the spin brush. Um, hers is a spin brush and it is unicorns as well, but it's a little bit more age appropriate, I guess I would say. Eleanor's is a bit more cartoony. Ollie's is a bit like cooler. I don't know. I hate, it's like sad now. I'm like, oh, it's too babyish for you now, is it? It makes me sad, but she's growing up and I just have to accept that. Um, I also got her a goo slime as well came in the pack of two like i said um her makeup i got her a hard candy one like i said and it this one's like more like frosty silvers um and this is guilty pleasure this was a dollar i also got her this um this is like a little ornament one this was also a dollar it was pink glitter cream shadows so she just has a bunch of glitter shadows as well um and this is cute because it's kind of like a little ornament so that is hers. These, like I said, are both from Walmart. Um, I also got her another glitter shadow. This is in the color Brass. It is a gold one, so lots of glitter. And then she has a Pat McGrath 
not really wet and wild, but it looks like Pat McGrath. They have no idea what that is. They'll just be like, cool, it's lipstick. <laughs> um, but this is wet and wild rose and sleigh, rose and sleigh. Um, and it's kind of like a mauve -y color. Okay. And then her necklace um, from Make Me Pretty is also a unicorn, but it's um, again, like I feel like more age appropriate for her. It has like a little floral crown. She has like earrings that look just like this that she just got from Claire's for her birthday. So I figured she could wear this set together. Um, again, this one also has the magnetic clasp. Really, really pretty. I like it a lot. So that one is hers. And then for Walmart accessories, this is her pack of, uh, necklaces which I think are so so pretty um they're all kind of like daisy flower themed so we have like a little pearl one this little like fabric um kind of lace daily daisy one this little daisy one with sparkles uh this one has like little flower or little butterflies and pearls it's really dainty and then like the stretchy ones again 588 they're so pretty I highly recommend them I really like those ones from Wonder Nation. And then I got her a pack. These were also on sale of just like regular clips. Um, these are like kind of poofy. <laughs> I don't really know how to say it. Puffy. Um, and, you know, just clips. But these, I mean, this is so thin. This is perfect for a stocking stuffer um, to really stuff it in there. And then she has from Claire's, her options are... Um, Oh, she's a bit more, she's a little less like crazy colors. Eleanor likes some more wild and exciting ones. Um, Ollie is a bit more like, she likes a bit more toned down, soft color palette um, for the most part. I mean, she definitely likes her tie dyes and like fun colors too, but if she's gonna pick things, I feel like this is more Ollie. Um, so I got her these three different earrings. Again, I guess I just went with like a daisy floral theme for her, but I just thought it fit her really well. So these are really cute. They have little daisy, little yellow flowers, and they're dangling really pretty. And then again, <laughs> with the daisies. Um, she also has a cute little black dress with a bunch of little white flower daisies on them. So I feel like it's going to be perfect. She can wear all of her jewelry. Um, but then these, the set. And then these really, really pretty dainty um, butterflies that have like coral and blue in them thought those were really pretty and then she also got a pack of bracelets uh, these are actually two individual ones that I bought separately and then I'm just gonna put them together but they're little stretchy band bracelets this one says sparkle on it and it has like little stars um, and then this one says love and it's pink so those are going in her stocking um what else then her Thai Beanie Boo is, she likes Beanie Boos, just not as crazy as Eleanor. This will probably end up in Eleanor's collection. That's what always happens, but Ollie always wants one too. So I always get two and then it ends up in Eleanor's collection, but that's okay. Um, this is a little fox one. I just thought, this one isn't necessarily Christmas themed. They had ones that were Christmas themed, but this just screamed Ollie to me, especially because Ollie loves to draw eyelashes like this when she does her drawing um and all the girls have like beautiful long lashes so this just looked like ollie to me this one is named atlas um it's super soft cute i like little sparkly ears so again thai website um i also got her this pack of barbie accessories i'm not really sure why like i feel like i'm missing stuff for eleanor because it's uneven right now, um, but I got Ollie this pack of Barbie accessory clothes. She loves to dress up her Barbies. So does Eleanor, so this is just fun. This is uh, like a reusable little Barbie bag, um, and I feel like these are good for stocking stuffers because of the size. The next thing I got for Olive is this little beanie. I know I have one for Eleanor, and I don't know where it is, so... That's why I feel like they look uneven. Um, this is Olive's. This is from No Boundaries from Walmart. It was $9.97. It's technically a woman's hat, but my girls have very large heads. Um, they, when they were born, and until they stopped measuring head circumference at the pediatrician, they have literally been off the chart. They don't go past 99 percentile, but they literally have been off the chart the whole their whole entire life. So they have giant heads. I don't really know where they get them from. I think I have a large head and I think Jazz has a pretty decently large head, but they don't seem 
very large, but my girls have very large heads. So um, like children's hat stuff doesn't normally fit them very well. So I just went ahead and got like a woman's one. Um, thank you to Amanda from Hot Mess, um, Hot Mess Kitchen, Hot Mess Mom, Hot Mess, Hot Messy Kitchen. Oh my goodness, why can't I not that? Amanda, you know who? I love her. You guys have, I'm sure, have subscribed to her too. She's amazing. Mom's Messy Kitchen. Yes, Mom's Messy Kitchen. She's not a hot mess. She's amazing. I really like her. <laughs> anyway, she posted these on her Instagram, so I went and bought them. Um, so I got this one for Ollie. And I think Eleanor's has a smiley face on it, and it's like a taupey kind of pinky color, and it has um, a smiley face on it. Anyway, um, then for Ollie, I shared these in um, her What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, but she asked for a bunch of canvases because she wants to paint, and she also got paints. So I'm going to put these in her stocking, or I may just put them with the canvases. But I attended them for her stocking, but they may just end up going with her canvases. But just a pack of three. Um, these are six by six inches. They are really tiny and were really inexpensive from Walmart. And then um, I got her a Rubik's Cube. She's been really wanting one of these. Um, this is a four-sided one with just like four little cubes. It's like kind of a medium challenge level. Um, it's for ages eight plus, but I, it's fine. I mean, I think it's fine. She may not be able to do it for a couple of years, but the kid is super smart. So she may just astound me and get it done right away. I've never been able to do a Rubik's Cube. I'm shocking, I know. Um, so we'll see, but I think that she, she'll have fun and she's been really wanting to get it. And this is like a perfect little stocking stuff for two. Okay, I think that that is almost it with hers. Let me just make sure. Okay, um, this, I may end up just going to get all of another blanket so they have matching one and wrap this up. But I got this from Amazon. So Ollie, <laughs> Ollie's been playing this game at her school called Kitty Gang. Kitty, cute kitty, kitten game. I don't know. It's just like a school, a game that they've been playing with her friends on the playground. Like you come up with like little games and they're all pretend to be cats and they have like crazy like, I'm a superstar fashion nova rainbow cat or something like that and so um and then she like apparently transforms into a werewolf too so i don't know mixed breeding here but she um for whatever reason this made me think of it because she's been super into that game so i found this like really fun tie-dye unicorn cat but the reason that i got it was because it's like has multiple cats inside which i know toys like this kind of freak other people out some people were like that's really weird i don't want like a pregnant cat toy but I think she's really gonna like it. So, um, it has four little baby cats inside and they're super gosh darn cute. They all are different colors. So we have a white one, a little baby blue one, a pink one, and then the tie dye one. And I just felt like this is just like her little kitten gang, you know, and she can have them in her mama cat. She's been really big into being like a mama and she really wants to have another sibling and talks about me getting pregnant all the time, which, Lord knows we're trying um anyway so it's like kind of like really big on her mind lately and so I just thought that this was like a really fun toy for her and it zips up and it's just really cute I don't know they have a bunch of ones they had in the 90s that are like the dogs the dog they kind of look creepy to me so I just have never purchased one but I thought this one was sweet and it's kind of like a surprise like you would never know that she has a bunch of kittens unless you like looked under her so um it was pretty expensive though I'm not gonna lie this was like $35 on Amazon um it's from the brand Snugga Babies it was super expensive I don't think it's worth that much money to be honest with you but I think she's gonna be really excited about it it had crazy ratings they kept selling out over and over and over again and um they have a bunch of different pets and animals but this is the one that we decided for all of because of her kitten gang crew crew so i actually think i'm gonna end up wrapping that i think i originally was like oh this is how it'll work out but i don't think i think i'm gonna end up getting all of one from walmart a blanket from walmart and then i'm just gonna wrap this and put this underneath the tree as a separate present um Okay, I wanted to share these because I think they're perfect for stockings as well, but they're Christmas related. And so if you wanted to get them earlier, I got a couple more things from Claire's. I got this really cute rainbow, sparkly rainbow, um, rainbow, Rudolph <laughs> reindeer. Goodness gracious, Rudolph the reindeer, red nosed reindeer bow. 
um, from Claire's. And then I got a pack of four bows. I moved the Santa one because you couldn't really see them, but they're cute and sparkly and a little gingerbread Santa hat. And then I got this really beautiful like faux velvet pearl uh, scrunchie. I thought this one was so pretty. This one was a bit pricier, it was $9.99, but I think I got it on sale for like three bucks or something, but I just thought it was really, really pretty. The good thing about these bows is they wear them for years and years. And then I each got them a pair of Christmas earrings. They, if you can't tell, they're really big into earrings and jewelry right now, especially dangly earrings. That's what they really like. So I got this pair for Eleanor because they're a bit more small. For her little Santas and then I got this I didn't expect these to be so big but the more the merrier you know what I'm saying <laughs> um pun intended anyway they're just fun Christmas kind of resin style um earrings and I'm actually slowly throughout the month have been having the elves bring them random stuff so these will probably end up being gifts from their elves um, who are the sweetest little ones in town, Cookie and Glitter, and they like to leave them uh, little treats as well. So I think I'm gonna say, you know, hey Cookie, hey Glitter, you wanna give them these? So they normally are really helpful that way, like to come up with fun ways to give them to them. So that is all of the girl stuff. I'm gonna quickly share the things that I got for my nephew. Um, this is a main present. This obviously is in the stocking stuffer, but he's super into food and playing with play food right now, and I, and it makes me excited to buy this again because the girls used to love this brand and I think this brand is the best play food brand and it's the learning resources. I got this deluxe market set. This thing, this sucker, is normally 50 bucks and it's been on sale. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time this video goes up but I got this for half, I think 25 bucks. Um, but it comes with a bunch of different food. The quality of this food is like no other to me. It is such good quality food. It's not wood. The thing with wood food, it's great, it's cute, but it's just, I don't find kids enjoy it as much because it doesn't look as realistic and it ends up chipping and splintering and it just, it doesn't, it doesn't have a shelf life to me as like a plastic food, but I hate the like hollow ones that are like dented are not good quality. The Learning Resources by far makes the best play food. I highly recommend them. We've purchased the girls multiple kits from them. We love them. Hopefully in the future, God willing, we have more babies. I will purchase more of the learning resources set, but I purchased this for my um, nephew because he loved playing with the girls play food. So I thought this would be fun for him. And then um, for stocking ideas, he's super into cars, but I feel like Hot Wheels are such a good stocking stuffer that no one really thinks about. I never see them on stocking stuffer gift guides, and I don't know why I feel like they're just meant for stockings. Um, so he has two little Hot Wheels. I honestly have no idea. This is a Mustang Coupe uh, 67, which I do like this one. And then this is, I honestly have no idea what this one is. Cars are not my forte. My husband would be appalled. So he has two Hot Wheels. And then um, he really loves cars, like I just said. So I found this Melissa and Doug re uh, Restickable Sticker Vehicle set. Um, this has five fold out scenes to fill and all the stickers are like vinyl stickers. And so you can just take them off and put them on all over again. Um, it's really awesome for his fine motor skills. Um, and just a pediatrician, American Academy of Pediatrics approved to foster early brain development. So Melissa and Doug is awesome. They have a ton of really great gifts. I love Melissa and Doug. And this, you can see the scenes on the back here. There's like a gas station, um, a little roadway, an airport, all sorts of stuff. And then he can just stick and restick. Um, and this is a fun, quiet activity. It's also something that he can use in the car or if they're going place on an airplane at the doctor, stuff like that, where he needs to sit still, sit still, sit still for a little while. So, um, I definitely recommend, obviously this doesn't fit in a stocking, but it's something that is like still small enough that can be with a stocking and kind of lean up against it. So I definitely would recommend these and they have a bunch of different types of these, not just car ones. Um, but I got that at Walmart for like $3.99 or something. Okay. That is it for this video. I finally finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you a bunch of different, uh, gift ideas. I'm kind of sad that it's over with now and <sighs> We're all done and I'm just like, I'm all, I'm halfway through like our present wrapping. Like it's, 
I'm like sad. I feel like Christmas is just like zooming by and I'm already done with my gift guides besides my husband's which is like offensive to him to be like it doesn't matter but no I'm just kidding just like the girls like I'm sad that my kids ones are all done so I'm excited to share with you what my got my husband there's some fun like just unique gift guide or gift options stocking stuffers in there so I've been talking for too long my mind is gone too much anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, definitely keep an eye out because I will have what I got my husband for his stocking coming up right after this one. Um, I'm really excited to share that one with you guys. And I hope that I gave you some good ideas. I will try to make sure everything's linked below, but a lot of these items are definitely like an in-store purchase things like these like makeup things and some of this other stuff. Like I don't think I can find these online either. So. Do that with what you will. I'll try to find and link what I can, but there's a lot of stuff that's pretty much in store purchase only. But literally, I think 99% of this stuff came from Walmart, besides Ty and then um, Claire's. I think pretty much everything else came from Walmart. So, oh, and then the kitty cat. He came from Amazon. But anyway. Walmart's great for stocking stuffers, super cheap, has a bunch of options. Definitely check them out. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.